Hi, I'm Slob Stylist, a celebrity hair artist, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the best, quickest, and safest braid removal. Then I'm going to be showing you on our beautiful Rebecca how to do a protective style. This is going to be an insane transformation, and I can't wait to show you guys how to do this. So your braid should be in for about four to eight weeks. And if you keep it any longer than that, it's probably going to start damaging your hair. So I'm going to be showing you guys what you should be looking out for, for when you need to remove your braids. So we're just going to assess the root of her hair. The buildup usually comes from beneath. And what happens when the hair is really, really overdue for a removal, the hair will start to twist and twist. And what you're going to get is a buildup. If there's any flyaways throughout the braids, then it's also a good signal to let you know that it's time to take out the braids. So now I'm gonna do the big chop and snip these braids off. So we're going to look for where the flyaways start and end. And now that's done, I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove your braids super fast. I'm going to be using my index finger and my thumb, and it's really good to have some nails because it's gonna help with the process. If you don't, I would advise you to just use a tail comb for this. So you're going to get your index finger under the braid and your thumb on top. Dig that right through and use your thumb to aid the removal. Now that the hair is out, we're just gonna brush Rebecca's hair back, wash it, and we're gonna come back when it's dry and get on with that protective style. So we've clarified the hair with shampoo, we've dried it, and it's time to now get that protective style in. I'm going to use the wax method to braid Rebecca's hair. It just allows the hair to look really neat and last much longer. So we're gonna start with a little piece of hair extensions at the front so we can get that really nice design of thin into thick. Another good thing about hair extensions is that it's just gonna give the hair some body and it's gonna allow the hair to be stable and neat for a long time. So now I'm coming to the end of the last braid. I'm gonna go straight to the baby hairs, get them laid and slayed, and then I'm gonna use the hot water method, dip the ends of the braids into the hot water, and this is just gonna relax the braids because they're quite stiff right now and give it a lovely aesthetic. Always listen to your hair, and what do I mean by listening to your hair? Your hair always reacts to whatever you put in it. So for example, if you put gel in your hair and your hair starts to flake, your hair is telling you, I don't like this gel. It's not actually that the gel flakes, it's actually your hair causing that reaction and telling you, mm mm. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And you're really just using the thin end of the comb to assist the natural formation of the curl. and you're just gonna use your fingers to massage that in. And now she's got the final look and it looks beautiful, she looks stunning. Just a little tip, if you want your braids to look super glossy, super shiny, I would advise to put some braid sheen on it and just spray it across the braids. But because we want this to look super natural, we're not gonna do that, but just top tip for you guys. Thank you for watching this episode of Secrets of the Celebrity Hairstylist with me, The Snob. Make sure you like and subscribe to see more videos like this in this series on 4-9 Looks.